7 pi over 6. 7 pi over 6 is in the third quadrant. There was the sine, so we want the y coordinate. That's negative 1 half. Okay, the cosine of 7 pi over 4. 7 pi over 4 is the fourth quadrant. We want the x coordinate, so that's square root 2 over 2, positive square root 2 over 2. And finally, 215 degrees, that is in the eighth. 215 degrees is not on our unit circle. So, if they asked you for something like that, that's not on your unit circle, then you just have to type it into your calculator. Okay, so i got to make sure I'm in degree mode. I'm going to type it in, sine of 215. And I just got to write down that value. It's not pretty, but I just got to write it down. Negative 0.57. Cool. I always go to three, three places after this. Okay, so if it's not on your unit circle, then you just got to type it into the calculator. Okay. Even if it is on the unit circle, technically you can type it in the calculator, but they're going to be expecting the pretty square root answers. If it's on the unit circle, they're expecting the square root answers, not the decimal answers. Okay? Alright, flip your paper over, and uh, let's try and answer this question. This says find the angle in radians that corresponds to the given point on the unit circle. So this time, we're looking for the angle. Here's the point we want the angle. So we want to find the angle where the uh, x value is the square root, positive square root 2 over 2 and the y value is the negative square root 2 over 2. Well, positive x, negative y means we're in the fourth quadrant. So in radians, that would be 7 pi over 4. Okay, uh, how about positive square root 3 over 2, positive 1 half, well, that would be pi over 6, right? Positive x, positive y is first quadrant, and that point is pi over 6. We're just looking for that coordinate on the unit circle and recognizing the thing. Okay, let's look at this. Identify all angles in radians and degrees where the cosine of theta is equal to one half. Well, cosine is our x coordinate. I would kind of write that on my paper. Like when I see that, I would put an x over it. So I'm thinking when I look at my unit circle, I'm looking for all the places where my x coordinate is one half. Well, I know that happens in the first quadrant at 60 degrees and pi over 3. And that also happens in the fourth quadrant at 300 degrees and 5 pi over 3. So those are my answers there. 60 degrees, theta equals 60 degrees or 300 degrees. And in radians, pi over 3 and 5 pi over 3. Okay, so most of the time, we're going to have two answers with the ERG. 60 degrees and pi over 3 are the same angle, so I'm considering that one answer. 300 degrees and pi pi over 3 is the same angle, just degrees and radians. Okay? Um, so how about sine of theta is equal to negative 1 half. Sine is our y, so let's look for places where the y coordinate is negative 1 half. Well, negative y's are going to be down in the third and fourth. So sine is the y that's at 210, 7 pi over 6, or 330, 11 pi over 6. Theta equals 210 degrees, or 7 pi over 6, and 330 degrees, or 11 pi over 6. And guess what? You can confirm this. It's really easy. Just do this. I'm in degree mode right now, so I'm going to type in sine of 210 degrees. Negative one half. I'm going to type in the sine of 330 degrees. 
negative one half. I could have done it with the cosine as well. I could have checked that one. Cosine of 60. Positive one half. Cosine of 300. Positive one half. Okay? So you can check these very, very easily um, because technically this is an equation. Right? Technically this is an equation right here. Um, so remember, you can always plug your equations in or the variable to check an equation. All right? So that's really